hello guys in this video I am going to show how you can create a simple file downloader with a nice progress bar for your terminal using Python okay so let's get started so first of all you will need to install uh, a third party Python module which is called TQDM so you can install it with a simple pip command like this okay so this must install TQDM and then let me show you a simple example of how to use this library okay so let me just write a simple python script for you okay so first of all you will need to import tqdm so you have to import it like this from tqdm import the tqdm function because that is all we will be needing okay and I am also using time function uh, time module actually to just demonstrate you something so consider this loop for x in range let's say thousand and then time dot sleep let's say 0 0.01 seconds so what will happen here is that this loop will actually run for around um, 10 seconds right and after that it will just end and the execution of the script will also end now what I want is that as long as this loop is running I would like to have a simple progress bar uh, on the terminal so let's see how we can do that you just need to wrap this iterator the range thousand function into um, the tqdm function like this that's it so this must do your job so let us see how it works let me just show you an example um, let us just run this python3 example.py okay so look at that how it is working a nice progress bar is before you on the terminal while I am executing this script okay so it looks cool right so we are going to use it in our downloader script so let us write the code for that script now so we have already uh, imported the tqdm module modules tqdm function and now i'm going to import requests library okay so first of all i am going to define the chunk size so chunk size is nothing but the small amount of data that i will be receiving um, once at a time from the server um, of that url okay so chunk size is equal to 1024 that I am setting so it means that I will be getting 1024 bytes at a time or you can say 1 KB right and uh, let me define the URL that I am going to use so this is a simple PDF URL okay so I'm just going to copy that so my main purpose will be to show you how I can download this URL simply right so URL is equal to this and then I just need to create a response object of requests library so it is like requests dot get so I have to make a HTTP get request to this URL and I am just setting stream is equal to true so what will happen is that it will allow me to get the content at this URL through a stream of data so I'll be able to um, get the data or you can say I'll be able to assess the data in form of an iterator okay so I will be able to actually iterate through the content one by one so that will be easy for me to download the file so let us just define a output file as well where I will be storing it so I'm just typing it as python.pdf and I am opening it in write mode for binary like this as f okay this is my file object now I have to run a loop here to get the content of the response that I am just making here right so for data in okay now first of all 
I will have to do some things different here, right? So I have to just define tqdm function and now inside it I have to define which iterable I am going to use. So iterable here is iterable is nothing but that sequence over which I am going to trade. So that is iter content r dot iter content. Okay, and in that you have to define the chunk size. So the chunk size is simply the chunk size that I just defined here, right? And other than that, you need to define what uh, you need to define the total size, right? So the total size must be okay. Wait. Let me just define the total size here. So what is the total size of my file? Because if you want to create a progress bar, you need to know what is the total size of your file, right? So the total size is something like this. Um, R dot headers. And in that you have to get the content length key. Okay. So this is what you need to take right away okay and let me just check if I'm missing something so I will have to define total right so I will have to define the total number of iterations that I'm going to require so total is equal to total size it is total size divided by chunk size um, I will just explain why I'm doing that why I'm not taking total size and another thing is unit so unit is going to be in KB so this is the reason why I'm doing this because the file is large so if I um, if I give the total in the form of simply the bytes then it will be a very it will be a very long loop I mean it will be a loop with a lot of iterations which I do not need because that amount of data is coming very easily to me through my internet connection right so I'm just getting the data in KB units okay kilobyte units so this looks fine and then what I need to do is okay there seems to be some issue with okay and finally you have to just write that data simply like this right so this seems fine and then finally I will just print um, download complete to just let me know that it has completed okay so this looks like a fine code for getting the thing done let me just try it okay so look at that that is being downloaded the file is being downloaded and yeah it's done the download is complete the net file size was 872 KB it took me five seconds to download that file right so this looks nice right and if I see on my desktop yeah here it is that python.pdf file and yeah it has been downloaded very nicely so we have just created a very nice downloader for our terminal which has a very nice progress bar as well so that's it so that's it from this video and don't forget to check out other videos on my tips tricks hacks and apis playlist on my youtube channel thanks for watching